أخرج موسى خائفا يترحل فعاد بأهله وهو الكليل وذهب ذو النون مغاضبا فالتقمه الحوت وهو مليم ونشأ محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم يتيما فكان الفضل لذلك اليتيم وكل ذلك بتقدير العزيز العليم نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونتوب إليه ونعوذ به من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له شهادة ندخرها ليوم تتقلب فيه القلوب والأبصار وأشهد أن سيدنا وحبيبنا وعظيمنا وأستاذنا وقائدنا وقدوتنا وأسوتنا محمد عبده ورسوله وصفيه من خلقه وحبيبه بلغ الرسالة وأدى الأمانة ونصح للأمة وكشف الله به الغمة تركنا على المحجة البيضاء والطريقة الغراء ليلها كنهارها لا يزيغ عنها إلا هالك اللهم فصل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه ومن اهتدى بهده واستنى بسنته إلى يوم الدين أما بعد يا brothers and sisters Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala stated in the Holy Quran Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu taqu Allah wa kunu ma'a sadiqin This great and powerful ayah in Surah Al-Tawbah Dear brothers and sisters Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is enjoining us, recommending us to always say the truth To be among the people who say the truth And of course this came after the story of the three Sahaba companions that didn't make it to the Ghazwat Tabuk. They didn't follow the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And the most famous among these three companions, Ka'b ibn Malik. The story of Ka'b ibn Malik. This is the story of Tawbah. This is the Tawbah. We had that Ka'b ibn Malik, Hilal ibn Rabi'ah, wa Mirari ibn Umayya. These three companions, dear brothers and sisters, they didn't go together with the book. And yes, this is about mostly about Kabo ibn Malik, radiallahu an, one of the great companions of Minal Ansar. The Ansar, they're from Medina. And Kabo ibn Malik is from uh, Bani Salama. He's from Bani Salama. He's among the early converts to Islam. السابقين الأولين من المهاجرين والأنصار. he attended the Razwat he attended al Aqaba when they took the pledge to sacrifice themselves to this religion. so it's a long story there brothers and sisters. كاب ابن مالك his son reported the story from his dad كاب ابن مالك عبد الله بن كاب ابن مالك three pages in Sahih al Bukhari. About his story, and as we know, also dear brothers and sisters, we have a complete surah, Surah Tawbah, one of the longest surah about the Gazwat Tabuk, the campaign of the Tabuk, the last jihad, the greatest jihad that the Prophet Ali Salatu Salam went and his companion Tabuk, and this occurred in the year nine of the Hijrah. So, to make it short, Kaab ibn Malik, he didn't attend the Ghazwa. As we know, going to jihad, when the Prophet ﷺ gave an instruction to do jihad, this is a fardain. It's an obligation. On each man who is capable and able. And in this Sahih al-Bukhari, Kaab ibn Malik is telling that he never had two camels and this until that time during the book he had two camels and he was healthy and wealthy we know how many people allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in surah tawbah they come to the prophet والسلام, crying because they don't have a right to go with him in this campaign of the book they come to him 
Hazanan. They traced. They have sorrow. They are unhappy because they couldn't go with the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And of course, in this surah, dear brothers and sisters, Allah subhanahu wa taala made the Prophet sallam, and his companion discover the munafiqin. They were able to go. They were able to follow the Prophet sallam. They healthy and wealthy. They have the right, but. They try to find the excuses. I have to take care of this. I have to do this. I have to do this. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions them in Surah Al-Tawbah. وَجَاءَ الْمُعَذِّرُونَ مِنَ الْعَرَابِ لِيُؤْذَنَ لَهُمْ They can. They're looking for ism. I can go. I have this. I have that. And of course, Kaab ibn Malik, dear brothers and sisters, he is not among the Munafiqeen. He attended Aqaba. He is one of the noble companions of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And he was telling that why he didn't make it. He kept delaying. Because he think that one of his reasons, he got one camel that is very fast. Instead of joining the Prophet والسلام, with 30,000 warriors, people, you know, they move slow. The campaign will be moving slow. So he think that he will be able to join them. He will be able to catch them anytime. Because he's going to be a single rider. Once he rides his own camel, he's going to catch them anyway. And he kept delaying, 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 delaying. In three days, he didn't go. Four days, he didn't go. And he knew from that day, from that time, that he messed up. He made a big mistake. It was a jihad for the Ayn. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala stated in the Quran, in Surah Al-Misa, لا يستوي القاعدون من المؤمنين غير أولي الضرر والمجاهدين في سبيل الله بأموالهم وأنفسهم فضل الله المجاهدين بأموالهم وأنفسهم على القاعدين درجة وكلا وعد الله الحسنى. This is fault and Allah subhanahu wa taala has the greatest reward the jannah for whoever went to the war في سبيل الله and died. إلا المستضعفين من الرجال والنساء والولدان لا يستطيعون هيلة ولا يحفظون السبيلة. Except those who are disabled. They are disabled. They are blind. They are paralyzed. And نساء والولدان, women and children, only it's not obligation on them. They have an excuse. They cannot go to the war. They cannot join the war. But Kaab ibn Malik, he said that the third day, he started to realize everybody else in the city, in Medina, his children, women, or those the Munafiqeen who try to find an excuse not to go to the war. And he's not among them. And dear brothers and sisters, this is the story of Kaab ibn Malik. When the Prophet Ali wasalam, came back to Medina, the Prophet Ali wasalam, came back to Medina, Kaab ibn Malik went to the masjid, tried to talk to the Prophet Ali wasalam, and his companion. Nobody talked to him. The Prophet Ali wasalam, imposed on him. And the other three, two companions, Hilal and Marar, the three of them, social isolation, social distancing. We can say nowadays, nobody approaches them, nobody talks to them. And even worse, they have to stay away from their wives. They have to stay away from their wives. 
because this is a great sin not to participate in the jihad. And when the Prophet والسلام, came back, all those Munafikun, they ran like 80 person, 100 person, each one trying to explain why he didn't join. And the Prophet والسلام, was accepting their excuse, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed the ayah. Why you accept their excuses? And from there, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed to the Prophet that these people, the Munafiqun, they have no real excuse. They have no real excuse. They have bad intention. They have bad intention from the beginning. Lima azin talam. Yes, dear brothers and sisters. And the Surah al Tawbah mentioned a lot. Surah al Tawbah mentioned a lot of Munafiqun. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bin Hash against the Munafiqun in Surah al Tawbah. Istaghfarta lahum. Am lam testaghfir lahum. In testaghfir lahum sabayina maratan. Falan yaghfir Allah lahum. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed the hypocrite to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Telling him not to even ask forgiveness for them. If you ask forgiveness for them sabayina marra, 70 times, lan yaghfir Allah lahum. Allah will never forgive them because they are bad in their hearts. They pretend to be Muslim, apparently, but they're not. Inside their hearts, they're not Muslim. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned. And he also gave the Prophet warning. وَمِمَّنْ حَوْلَكُمْ مِنَ الْأَعْرَابِ مُنَافِقُونَ ومن أهل المدينة مردوا على النفاق لا تعلمهم نحن نعلمهم. الله سبحانه وتعالى تعلم the Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم to be careful around the Medina and inside the Medina he got a lot of munafiqun, a lot of people pretending to be Muslim but they not. They enemy of Islam. ومن أهل المدينة مردوا على النفاق. La ta'alemuhum na'nu na'alemuhum. Yes, dear brothers and sisters. This is Surah Tawbah. The story of the Tawbah of these three companions. They didn't try. Kaab, Hilal, and Marara. They didn't try to find any excuse. They were honest, brutal, honest, <coughs> transparency. They tell the truth to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. We don't have any excuse. We just didn't attend. We just didn't join the jihad. Laziness. And they've been boycotting social distancing, social isolation. Nobody been talking to them for 40 days. Until Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed the ayah to forgive them. Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu taqullaha wa kunuma as-sadiqeen. The ayah, the verse that came before this ayah, wa ala al-salasati al-lazina khulifu. Wa ala al-salasati al-lazina khulifu. Hatta iza daqat alayhim al-ardu bima rahubat, wa daqat alayhim anfusuhum. The three companions that didn't attend the campaign, they stayed behind. And they get boycotted by the Muslims. Nobody deal with them. They feel like they have nowhere to go. 
وظنوا ان لا ملجا من الله الا اليه they convinced that they cannot run away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but by going toward Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that's how you save yourself beautiful ayah they feel like they, they cannot save themselves by running away from Allah but they can only save themselves by running toward Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala وَظَنُّوا أَنْ لَا مَلْجَعَ مِنَ اللَّهِ إِلَّا إِلَيْهِ ثُمَّ تَابَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِمْ لِيَتُوبُوا in Allah who was the Wab Rahim. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts their repentance. They sincerely repent from their mistake, from their sin, not to attend the jihad. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts this repentance. Summa tab Allah who alayhim liatubu. In Allah who was the Wab Rahim. Allah is the one who accepts the repentance, the merciful. And from there, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Ya ayyuhu al-lazina amal ittaqullaha wa kunu ma sadiqin. Always believers, be truthful and be among the true believers. Aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum fa astaghfiruh innahu wa lakum. Allah. 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 الحمد لله حمدا كثيرا طيبا مباركا فيه وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمد رسول الله. Dear brothers and sisters, in this story of Kaf ibn Malik, we should mention this incident very important. When the Prophet عليه الصلاة والسلام arrived in Tabuk, he didn't see Kaf. He said ما فعل Kaf ibn Malik. قال رجل من بني سلمة حابسه برداه وعدفي والنظر في عدفي. So the Prophet عليه الصلاة والسلام said what's up? What happened to Kaab ibn Malik? And this man from Bani Salama. And we should mention that Kaab ibn Malik himself is from Bani Salama. This man said no, he stayed behind because he wanted to enjoy his clothes and his uh, properties. You know, he was hard. he just want to have a good time. That's why he stayed behind. He didn't come to the book. فقال معاز بن جبل This is in Sahih al-Bukhari, dear brothers and sisters. قال معاز بن جبي سما قلت Why say something bad like this about Kaab? يا رسول الله ما علمنا عليه إلا خيرا Kaab ibn Malik, all we know about him is true. He's a good man. He's not like that. Allahu Akbar, Mu'az ibn Jabal, defending Kaab ibn Malik. They call it Husn al-Zan. Always have good intention. Give your brother an excuse. This is Islam. Qala rajul min bani salama. The other guy who's saying bad thing, they're from the same tribe. But Mu'az ibn Jabal is not from bani salama. He's defending him. Husn al-Zan. Dear brothers and sisters. يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وكونوا مع الصادقين. We ask Allah سبحانه وتعالى to make us among the صادقين. اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد وبارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد. ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم. قوموا إلى صلاتكم يرحمكم الله. Thank <laughs> you.